Hi guys. So last time when I made a video on CMake, so many of you have commented that when it's very hard to follow the CMake tutorial, uh, whichever I have made. So that's why I am creating this uh, new tutorial on CMake basics. So before understanding or before learn CMake, you need to understand this thing. The way you compile a project in C or C++ in a real-time project, that is especially in a corporate, it's completely different compared to the way you have compiled other programming languages like a Java or .NET. So usually this is how it goes. So if you are working on Java or .NET, what you do is you depends on an IDE. You take a Eclipse or NetBeans or some other IDE and just you add your source code and you write your program and you click on build button or you click on run button. So that is how the output is being generated. So even though you have n number of source code, the IDE knows like how to generate a build system or how to generate the make or how to generate the, uh, the files, the build files and to get the output. But whenever it comes to C or C++, it is quite different. So even in C or C++, you have n number of build systems. So one is like a Unix make file system. Another one, maybe in a Windows, you may use a Visual Studio C, C or C++ compiler and Visual Studio. So that will generate a make file. That means that will generate <coughs> or it will write a make file for you. Similarly, you have uh, so many n number of build system. Let me share my screen and show you number of build system. Here you can see. There are so many build system like AutoConf, Checkinst, Mason, Premi, Gradle, Scon, Ninja Build. There are so many n number of build systems. So that is being used to generate a, our binary or something, or whether it's a shared object. So now the problem with uh, this one is everything you need to write it manually. So that means let's assume you have chosen a Unix make file system and you have write uh, all the rules how to get your binary out of your project. And similarly, tomorrow, if you don't want to uh, make use of this make file system and you want to move to some other make file system, or let's assume this entire source code you want to put it to a Windows operating system. So in that case, like uh, what you have to do is like entire uh, make file system, whatever you are written, it goes uh, uh, like a toss. So you have to create a, another uh, make file system for Visual Studio or either somehow you have to put this project to make it work with the Visual Studio project. So this is a nightmare. And many of the juniors will get confused, like how they will uh, start with their career is. So they will uh, see the existing make file system and somehow they will make a tune on that one and they started working on this one. So the problem with all this build system is there are n number of build system available for C or C++ project. So if you want to port from one build system to another build system, it is very hard. Or if you want to port your uh, source code from one operating system to another operating system, again, you need to learn two different build systems. So it's very hard. To tackle all these things, so there is something called CMake. So CMake is not a build system. CMake is a build system generator. So that means the CMake will generate a build system for different build uh, system type. Let's assume like you, uh, you need to learn only one thing that is how to write a CMake. So with this CMake, you will tell, okay, boss, like I want to build a make file system or build a system for Unix make file system. So then it will generate a make file for this Unix operating system or a Unix make file system. <coughs> Similarly, you want to put this one entire project into Windows. So then you can tell your CMake, boss, I want to get a build system for a Microsoft Visual Studio. So then directly you can import into Microsoft Visual Studio and you can work on this one. So that is the main purpose of uh, CMake. And before learning into CMake, you need to understand these three things. So one is whenever you are creating a project, one is either you are creating an executable, you are developing your uh, uh, entire software <coughs> and you are using uh, you are using for yourself. So that means you are uh, giving this uh, software or uh, whatever the project you have created to make uh, to use it for some application. So this is one thing. So that is like you either generate an executable and you make use of this. And the second type of uh, project is like you create a library and you supply this library to some other people. There they can consume your library and they can build an application on top of this one. This is second type. And the third way is you consume some other library and make use in your project and you create output. So that is a that is your executable. So this is the only three three way the entire C or C++ project goes. So in this entire thing, one thing uh, you need to know is whenever you are creating a project for yourself, so that means the entire source code you are writing yourself. So then you have an entire control of uh, the entire source code. 
you know where the library lies and you know where the header file lies so then you create a executable that's it so but like whenever you are giving your library to someone so what you have to give so you have to give a library that is shared object along with that one if they are uh, using uh, your library they need to have a header file then you need to supply this header file to them you are giving two item one is shared library one is a header file so these two things you need to give to them but on the other end if they are using cmake project so then it's very easy so some something package config or some other thing you are uh, trying to give to them so they can easily import that one and they can consume your library but what if their side the build system is completely different if they are using ascon or if they are using a ninja build system so then it is quietly different right so you need to tell okay bus this is my library name and this is the header file this is where the path is these three information you have to give to them similarly whenever you are consuming library from someone their output may be generated with a different build system let's assume they may be using ninja build system or they may be using autoconf somehow they need to tell to you how you can use this library so first thing is they need to give a, lock, a shared library and second is where is the path of this shared library present and what is the include folder and what are all the header files so these three information uh, they have to supply to you so in this entire tutorial we are going to look a, look into three different parts one is like how can you create the project that is how can you generate a executable how can you generate a shared library how can you generate a static library this is one part and the second part is like how can you generate a library and supply to someone so supplying means like uh, how do you tell them to use this library and how do you mention them okay this is the library path and this is the include path where you need to include and where you need to link this is something and the other part is like how can you import a library whether which is maybe compatible for cmake or which is out of the compatible uh, for cmake whether it's a direct uh, include path and the library which you have received or it is been uh, generated with the autoconf or it is being generated with some other build system like how can you make use of that one into the make file system that is your cmake these three parts we are going to look into this uh, look into the current video but in this tutorial i am going to concentrate only on uh, the first part that is like how can you generate a uh, executable how can you generate a shared library and how can you generate a static library these are the three things which we are going to look into today's video and the rest of the other videos like a list of the rest of the other parts i'm going to upload in a uh, separate video so let's uh, begin so now here you can see i have a main.cpp calc.h and calc.cpp so the calc.h contain a declaration of sum and calc.cpp contains a definition of this sum and main.cpp contains uh, i am calling this sum of 10 comma 20 i am printing the result so the main uh, the beauty of cmake is like you can organize the project however you want later you can write a make file or nothing but a cmake so that is the beauty of a cmake so the same thing if you want to do in s conscript or if you want to do in autoconf or if you want to do in unix make file system with a bare hand like writing yourself so then it is very difficult so now let's see like how can we do this one so first initially let's uh, restructure this folder so before even restructure so let's begin with a simple uh, cmake cmake lists dot txt and here you can see the name of the file should be whatever the things which i have mentioned here it should not change and it is case sensitive and before starting into cmake like what we have to do is we need to see what is the version of the cmake we have installed so in order to if you don't have a cmake installed in your uh, linux what you have to do is sudo apt install cmake so if you enter this one so then uh, cmake will get installed in your system so in my system it's already there let's see the version so the version which i have is 3.22.1 so now the first thing is like what you have to do is cmake minimum version required and what i have to tell is version and i have to copy this one and paste it here now you may be wonder like how i am getting this auto completion so for that one i have installed two extension one is like cmake uh, this is twxs and another uh, extension is from microsoft so this is the two tools which i have installed in my vs code okay let's uh, continue so first thing you have to mention what is the minimum version of the CMake, minimum version of the cmake which you are using and the second thing is like you need to mention the project name for me let's say it's a uh, hello the project hello now the second thing is like you need to tell like how can you compile this one 
to compiling in a CMake, it is very easy. What you have to do is add executable. So that means you are telling I am creating an executable. Then you give the output name. So that is a.out. Out. And you have to give the inputs. That is one is main.cpp, another one is calc.cpp. That's it. So with this one, it's automatically generated the executable. So let's see how we can run this one. So basically, CMake uh, happens in two steps. So on the first level, you are building the make files and the second level you are taking that make files and generating and you are running that make file to generate the executable so this is the two step process so one is on the first steps you are generating the build system or uh, whether it's a ninja build system or unix make file or it's maybe visual studio um, build system so whatever it may be so first thing is like you are generating that so let's see how can we do that so what you have to do is first thing you have to create a directory build and the name of this one can be anything so then you have to go inside that the directory then you have to execute cmake dot 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 means wherever the cmake uh, list dot txt is present enter so this is one way of generating a build system so once you generate this build system here you can see it has generated the make file and by default it takes a unix make file system so if you want to generate for a different make file system that is also you can do so other way of uh, creating a build system is go back rmfrf build what you have to do is cmake hyphen b build hit enter so in this case it automatically generates a build folder and also it generates a build system for you so this is one step process so then to compile this one what you have to do is go inside this build folder and enter make so this time it will generate a a dot out you can execute the a dot out so this is how it will uh, compile your source code so this is one way what is the other way so other way is let me remove this one cmake hyphen b build capital b build and if you want to compile you can do like this instead of going inside that folder directly you can do it like this so it will generate a a dot out it will be present in this build or uh, build folder and you can execute this one so this is how you can build so if you want to select a different build system how can you do that one let me remove this build folder cmake hyphen b build hyphen g here you can say ninja i want to uh, build for a ninja build system so here you can see this uh, program has been not installed if you see make it's already been installed with me which make when i execute which make here it is saying uh, the make has been installed here so that means in my system make is installed but ninja build system is not installed that's why it is not uh, it is throwing a compilation error now rm minus rf build now you understood on a basic level how to create a binary file right now let's uh, make it uh, more professional so now what i'm going to do is like i'll create a shared library for these two files and I link that library to this executable. Let's do that one. Let me create a folder called my library, my lib, something like this. Let me move these two files into this directory. Then let me go here and say add library. And my library name might be calci. And what is the source code? calci.cpp since the source code is present inside this my lib so what i have to do is my lib write slash i have to give so then remove this calc.cpp for this executable i need to link right so first thing is like uh, you are uh, creating the executable then you are linking to link what you have to do is target link libraries and my target is a dot out i want to link to calc calc this calci is same as this one this is the library name which i have to use so now let me go and compile cmake hyphen b build it generate a build system then cmake build build so here in the main.cpp it is giving calci.h there is an error no such files or directory i'll go to this one because since we have moved this calci into the mylib i have to give like this mylib right slash <coughs> then again compile so now it is compiling and working fine so this is how uh, you can create a library now let me organize still more organize a bit 
So before that one, let me show you uh, how can you generate a shared library. So by default, here you can see, if I go to ls build, here you can see by default, the Calci is being generated as a static library. If I want to generate as a shared library, what I have to do is simply I have to tell the CMake that it is a shared library by mentioning shared here. So now let me go and rebuild again. So once you rebuild again, here you can see libcalci.so is being generated. So this is how you can create a static library and shared library. So just by adding a shared here, so it will generate a shared library. Now let's go and reorganize a little bit more. Whenever someone sees this one, no, so it's not a very intuitive uh, way, right? So what I can do is, if someone put like this Calci, so then it will be very useful. So I know this Calci is present in this namespace or it may be present in this folder. If someone is creating a calc.h in some other project, so then I can uh, organize them with a the calc or uh, with some other calculator or something like that. So what I'll do is, so in the calc, I have calc.h. So for that one, what I can do is, let me create one more folder, calc. Let's move this one inside this. Move. Now, now here you can see Calci again still it is giving error. So now somehow I have to tell to this make file, my header files are present in this mylib. So how can I tell? So go here and say include directories mylib. So just I'm mentioning mylib. I'm not mentioning mylib right slash Calci because I want this folder to be included like this. So now let's go and build. So now in calci.cpp you are getting error, calci.h does not form. So let's go into calci.cpp, here you can see, let me fix this one like this. Let me go and build. Can you see now? So libcalci.so is being generated, a.out is also being generated. Now I know like, uh, so it's all working fine. Let's make it still more professional. Let's assume this library is very much complex and uh, generating of this library itself is very difficult here you can see i am taking a responsibility of generating a library here so instead of that one let's move the logic here so for that one what i have to do is let's copy the same make and paste it here so let's go here i'll remove this projects and all those stuff let me remove this one only i'll add this one add library calc and it is shared library and calci.cpp is present here itself. So this one will generate a calci library. Now go to the same make, remove this add library. At the end, what you have to do is add subdirectories mylib. That's it. Let's see what happened. Let me build. So can you see here? So it's been generated. And if you go into the build directory, here you can see there is a folder mylib, cd mylib. And inside this one, you can see libcalc.s4 is being present and generated there. So let's come back. And you, here you may be wonder like uh, here executable is already being generated, but the subdirectory is added later. So here we no need to bother. So automatically CMake will take care like how to um, remove the dependencies while generating this executable so it's up to the headache of a cmake so this is the very much minimal basic of uh, generating a executable shared library and static library so yeah guys so this is what you have to know the basics of cmake and on the next videos like i'm gonna uh, share you like how can you uh, generate a shared library and you can supply to some other project or how can you how you can consume the libraries like gtk library boost library or some other library to your cmake and how can you make use of those things so whatever i have told like this is a very much on a higher level uh, a fundamental things about uh, cmake it's not a complete uh, cmake tutorials so let me create uh, some more videos on this one if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you